I'm Miss A and welcome to Miss A's Academic Coaching. Right now, we are going to talk about subtracting integers. How many of you like chicken? Raise your hand. Yeah, I do. I love chicken, right? What about KFC? Kentucky Fried Chicken? Mm-hmm. I know you're getting hungry. You're getting hungry. But we're not talking about chicken today. We are talking about KFC. And the KFC I'm talking about is keep, flip, and change. This is what's going to help you know what to do when you are subtracting integers. So let's say I have negative 5 take away 3. The K stands for keep. So this first integer here, I'm going to keep it the same. So negative 5. The F stands for flip. This subtraction sign, I'm going to flip it from subtraction into addition. And then the C stands for change. This is a positive 3, so guess what? I'm going to make it or change it into a negative 3. So now I have changed my subtraction problem into an addition problem. Negative 5 plus negative 3. Ah, that's a love situation. Remember from the last video, if we have two integers that are the same sign, which these are both negative, all we do is we add them and we keep their sign. So negative 5 plus negative 3 gives me a negative 8. All right, we got it? Let's try a different example. Where's my eraser? Here it is. How about 6 minus negative 4, right? Same rules apply. The K stands for keep. So this 6 is just going to, I'm going to keep it the same. I'm going to flip this subtraction into addition. And this negative 4, I'm going to change it into a positive 4. Well, look at that. We learned this type of addition when we were in like first grade, right? 6 plus 4, they're both positive numbers. We add them. The answer is 10. One more example. What if I have 8 minus 12? Well, a lot of students would look at that and not really, you know, think too deeply. And they say, oh, that's, that's 4, right? Not quite. We're still going to use KFC. I'm going to keep my 8 the same. I'm going to flip this into what? Addition. And I'm going to change this positive 12 into a negative 12. Well, now we have a war situation. Remember in the previous video, we said if we have two numbers that we're adding and their signs are different, it becomes a war. And we have to figure out which team, the positive team or the negative team, which will win the war. Well, like over here, the positives, they have eight soldiers on their team, right? But the negative team has 12 soldiers. So who do you think is going to win? The negatives. So right away, I know my answer is going to be a negative, and I'm just supposed to subtract them from there. 12 take away 8 is 4. The negative team wins. The answer is negative 4. I'll see you next time. Bye.